Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and today it's a book look. And today's book is Craft Your Stash. Uh, this was a book that I found at Ollie's, hence the orange tag on it. Looks like the original price was $12.95, the Ollie's price was $1.99, and I think there was a sale that day, so, because you know, your girl's cheap. So, I bought this, I couldn't resist. It's so colorful, and there are so many pictures in it. And it's not necessarily about just crochet. A lot of us who love crochet also love other crafts because crafts and art and creating and it's all fun but what happens when you maybe need a little bit of inspiration you look at what a book like this and you go oh okay that does it for me there's a lot of sections in this book um, of course you know them from the author and all of that here is a nice table of contents with little images of stuff that they've created in their projects Oh, and by the way, this is by Lisa Fulmer is the author, and I will have that information down below. They give you tools and techniques um, <clears throat> about, you know, some notes and things that they say throughout the thing and what you'll need, stash essentials, um, things that you'll need to cut, punch, and measure, general tools, paints, and mediums, and techniques. They give you lists and pictures and all kinds of pretty things to look at. Uh, they tell you about the painting and stuff as well, about what you can do with the acrylic paints and adding stuff to them to give them texture, which is always fun. Let's see, organizing your stash. I think we all need help with that. Wow, there's some real organization going here. Look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And that. I want that and a room full of yarn shells. Can I have that, please? Oh, and look what they did with their ribbons. That's awesome. Some design basics, in case you just don't know. A lot of us come into stuff just not knowing a, a thing. They talk about color, and there's a nice color wheel discussing about color and how to make things work together. All the different very basic color theory that can help you put things together if you didn't know how to do that. Uh, balance, just in case you just, you know, how does everybody else's stuff always look so nice? Some of that's balance, you know, and, and how you do that. And they give you little tips throughout um, to help you along. Texture is a fun one. I know you can't feel texture in the magazine, but you can definitely see some of the texture in some of the stuff that they discuss. Uh, unity in a design is a bit challenging and nuanced. Yeah, we're not going to get into that here. Projects. Here's where some projects start. You have all your supplies. You're organized. You've learned things. Now let's make some stuff. Okay? Look at that. Oh. See, I just, you know, books like this, even if I'm not going to make any of the stuff, I love to look through and really read how they do it. That's why I love watching craft videos, too. Speaking of craft videos... Um, someone that I watch who has been on TV like all over the place and everything and he was a, a clothing designer Mark Montano um, I'm gonna link his YouTube channel up here someplace he is so much fun and I have a couple of his craft books um, he does great little craft videos he is some of his colorful stuff will make some people say like oh my gosh that is like so much color yes some of it is but it's beautiful and it's vibrant and I really enjoy his channel um, and whenever he has a video come out that's I run and watch it absolutely uh, oh this is cool about making personal calling cards definitely not a mass produced calling card that involves sticking a little bead to it and everything mosaic scrapbook layout that's kind of fun especially for you scrapbookers out there that's just maybe another design that you may not have thought of <clears throat> Oh wow, look at that, a bigger picture of that. That's gorgeous. And all these little squares can be things that are about the people here, you know? That's what's so much fun about that, little snippets of what their house looked like and stuff like that. Uh, you can make, they call this a shaker card. This for me would end up being a mess on the floor because I just don't have that kind of coordination. But you can make little games and things to put inside the, the layer of the card itself. That's kind of cool, actually, show you how to do that. They really go through how to do that as well. Um, a greeting card set. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
those are some beautiful cards and somebody whose cards I've really enjoyed watching come out over this past year that I've been looking at YouTube stuff is a uh, happy crafty homemaker Carrie Penny she knits she crochets she does cards and yeah she does all kinds of things oh look here's all kinds of like measurements and and things you can Xerox okay I'm old you copy it and uh, so you know what to cut out and where to cut it out waste paint ATCs Oh, artist trading card. I was like, what's an ATC? I know what an ATV is. I know what ABCs are. Okay, ATCs, artist trading cards. Little canvases that you can make and trade. Look at this. I have never done one. Uh, Mark Montano actually had where he had people trading them and stuff, and that was really cool. And I did not take part because I had no idea what to do. But with this, that this would help guide me along it would give me some steps to do first oh this is cute photo cube ornament i could see doing that and like having a whole photo cube just for your pets because you know my oscar needs his own cube look at that that's cute though and i looked at that and all i saw was stitch marker shows you where my brain is right a sun catcher look at that that's pretty And it really tells you, it tells you where to punch the holes, how to make it, how to get all the bits and pieces for it. That's really cool. Wind chimes out of seashells. If you collected some seashells and some sea glass and different things from around, that could be a cool memory piece, you know, instead of having it just sitting in a jar. Uh, door plaque. That's pretty. You see what I mean? It, it's a little of everything. This is stuff that doesn't take many supplies. You shouldn't have to go out and buy anything for it if you have a craft stash. You might already have some of this stuff. This is so cute. This is called a vacation shadow box. Yeah, there's a better picture of it over here. How cute is that? That is a total memory piece. It can sit up on a shelf, even in your office, so that when you're working, you can look around and go, yeah, this is what I'm working for. That vacation right there, once again. A treasure box that's cool lariat bead necklace and that would be beading that I don't think would be too difficult that's mostly stringing in the order that you're stringing them in um, so even if you're not that familiar if you have some beads like maybe you looked at beads and thought they were really pretty and just didn't know what to do with them yeah you could do something like this and make something awesomely beautiful that would actually be useful wow oh i love this i love the colors look at those colors in that that is beautiful mosaic tile backdrop they're calling it man that's pretty altered cd art okay back in the day how many of y'all got hundreds hundreds of aol cds i never even had aol First, I got the little floppies that they'd send out. Yeah. Then I got the CDs. That's where you learn that you can microwave a CD and it goes and destroys your microwave, but okay. Um, because we all have them. We all got them. Well, they're doing cool stuff with them here. If you have a CD that's all scratched up that you just can't play anymore, upcycle it, recycle it. Oh, look very decorative hanging out of that I love that and they do so much with this is a yarn art wall hanging um <laughs> supplies an old wool sweater not too holy thick fuzzy yarn a five needle punch a uh, large piece of dense upholstery foam at least two uh, inches or five centimeters thick scissors and an embroidery hoop and I don't know why I'm showing you this like this, but they come up with that. That would definitely give you some inspiration on something you could do with that. Maybe you found a sweater at Goodwill that you absolutely hate with the fabric and it's kind of cool. There you go. And gives you a drawing to really help you out with how to lay out the strings if you just can't suss it out on your own. Skinny fabric bulletin board. Now, when I was working in the cube farm, we had short cubes. So you didn't have the tall cube to hang things off of. This would have been perfect there. Now, I'm in my home office in the other room. Um, 
But look at this. That is really cool. You have ways to, you know, you can put your pictures up, you can stick things to it, and without it being too ostentatious for most work environments, so that works. Easy Sew Fabric Gift Bags. I need to pull out my sewing machines. I really do. But right now I just rather be crocheting instead of working on my sewing machines. Look at that. Oh, I love the colors they chose for those bags. And you can find fat quarters. Walmart has like tons of fat quarters. A lot of times they mark them down, which is fun. Uh, but for this, to make four bags, you need four fat quarters. An iron, a sewing machine, straight pins, and ribbons. And I mean, technically you could sew these by hand, but good God, why take that kind of time? This is gonna be a quick and easy project. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the instructions go on for that. Reversible square placemats. They kind of show you how it's going on there. I hope they show a picture of, yes. Oh, I love that fabric they used. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that fabric pretty? Yes, I love purple, get over it. But this here, that's the reversible part. That's another fabric with just a subtle floral pattern to it. Very, very nice. I tell you how to stitch it and where to stitch it and stuff. Fabric collage wall hanging. This is done with fabric scraps. This one can be done by hand. And this would be something to help, like you, if you got the kiddos around, help get them involved. Let them help choose their piece of fabric for it. Or if they're each gonna make one, if you know you have them that are old enough that can do, 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 do with the needle. Um, yeah, because they're not, you're not looking for perfect stitching there okay it's it's stitching through with a needle and thread and you choose your colors you choose your color story that is so much fun fabric collage wall hanging continued and they show you how to pin your background fabric and what to do with it um, plus they give you a little guide there of how to lay stuff out or you can just go on your own and do your own thing Plus, there's the index that shows you, you know, where to find different things within this book. I love a good index. But, yeah, I picked this up at Ollie's. Am I going to do all of these projects? No. Am I going to take some inspiration from some of them? Sure. Absolutely. You could translate some of this to Crochet World. Um, so, why not, right? Um, crafting things, everybody who crafts, every, no matter what your craft genre is, it's all valid. I totally enjoy looking at other people's stuff that they do because it's amazing. Everybody is creating works of art. Um, it's taken me a long time to come to terms with the fact that when I'm creating something, it's something special because all I see are the mistakes and the flaws. Yes, I need to get over that, but it's a process. It's a process. Anyway, I do thank you for coming by for this book look. Have you seen this at your Ollie's? Have you found any other cool books at your Ollie's? I try to stay away from Ollie's because I spend too much money. But uh, yeah, I may have to go back and look for some more books. Thank you for coming by. I'd love it if you left a comment down there. Let me know what crafts you do or have done in the past or have attempted and put aside because it turned out not to be what you like to do. Tell me about it. I'd love it if you would subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.